three, two, one. On October 1st, lift off of Alpha Flight 2 on its mission to the Black. Firefly Aerospace officially entered the new space race. If you can launch a rocket, put it into orbit, and release payloads in your first 30 days as a CEO, I highly recommend that. CEO Bill Weber joined the company this September, just weeks before Firefly Aerospace became the first U.S.-based launch company that launched from the United States to get into orbit on their second uh, attempt. It's an important achievement. We want to do this once uh, a month, uh, ultimately once a week. The Cedar Park-based company hopes to do two things, launch and build rockets. Ultimately, the intention is that we're an end-to-end -end space transportation services company. Basically space truckers, launching goods into space. Not sure that, that Austin realizes all of that's happening right here in our, our general location with, with folks that live uh, in the Austin community. The company employs around 500 people from the Austin area. They're in the community that we're in. Uh, they live, they work here, many of them grew up here. The rockets are built in the town of Briggs in Burnett County. It'll blow your mind to see what we're capable of just right here in the near geography. Weber estimates there are only five other companies that are capable of these launches, one of which is right down the road. What, make, what separates you all from that competitor there? There's plenty of room for multiple companies out there, companies like Firefly and SpaceX to exist. The end of the market that we're operating in, the small and medium-sized launch, and the vehicles that we, that we build, the, the spacecraft that we build here in Austin, um, they can fit very, very well alongside a competitive environment with SpaceX. While Firefly doesn't disclose the full price of a launch, the fuel alone costs $15 million, but they already have customers lined up. I literally don't know anybody who, who doesn't look up in the sky at night and say, wow, uh, I wanna know more. What's next for Firefly Aerospace? They're building a lunar lander as part of NASA's return to the moon. In Cedar Park, Eric Henriksen, KXAN News.